Okay, super excited. Um, it is currently December 22nd. And these, I'm assuming, are the books that were missing from my birthday present to myself. I'm hoping they are. And, well, let's see. Remember the history of magic book? Well, these two were in the order as well. They were dispatched a day later, but they just never turned up. So I emailed, um, okay, so according to Book Depot's um, FAQ, you have to contact your local postage provider first. So I contacted Singapore Post. They told me there's nothing they can do. They don't know, uh, they have no way to trace whether this, my stuff is even in Singapore. So I emailed Book, Dep book Depository and they got back to me and yeah. They said to send me new books. I don't know if this is the one that we're missing, a new book, or even if it's the Christmas present book for someone else. Okay, let's see. Dun dun dun. <sighs> okay, it's the Hogwarts Library. Yes! Okay, um... Can I just say... Okay, giving you the gift of reading. Okay, fine. It's very childish though. I prefer the normal colour in bookmarks. And what is this? Oh, is this? I don't know if this is touched a bit more. Hmm, unit price forty three ninety three. Okay, so we have this, which is order date. The order date is thirty first October, which is the order date that I had. They didn't put uh, this patch date, but I'm assuming that since I got this thing, that means it was dispatched only in December or the holiday season-ish, which means this is the replacement book, not the original which has really disappeared. So anyways, I have no idea where the original went, but I'm so excited, yes, it's here, oh my god. My voice is very husky and like broken now, I was like, um, <coughs> yeah. But yes, so I got this 20th anniversary special reprint of the JK Rowling Hogwarts Library and I really really like this one because it looks like a humongous book, it contains fantastic bees and where to find them, Quidditch through the ages, the tales of Beetle the Bard, and the book covers are beautiful, they are not the super childish ones, like I've seen the childish ones in bookstores around but I don't really like them. I like like a more understated cover, you know. Something that I I can put in like hipster Instagram shots and stuff. And let me try and open this. Okay, I'll open it and oh, I've opened it. Yay! So, as you can see here, these are the covers of the three books. Very understated and beautiful. Not too childish. And it says here that for every sale of the Hogwarts Library, Scholastic will donate 20% of the suggested retail sales price, less taxes of this set to two charities selected by JK Rowling, Lumos, which is the one that she founded and that works to end the institutionalization of children, that means child labour, and Comic Relief, which is a UK-based charity that strives to create a just world free from poverty. So you have the two um, symbols for the charities. And with JK Rowling's Wizarding World 2017, Head Case Design, you did well. Yeah, so suggested price is thirty eight ninety seven US. I paid forty three forty three ninety three for the sing forty three ninety three. So let's look at the books. Oh did I just pop them out. Look. They are beautiful. Hard cover. And because this case is also hard cover, so the books are very, very well protected. Here's a Beatles to Bart with notes by Professor Albus Dumbledore. So cute. And yeah, contains five richly imaginative stories of adventure cunning. Heart Egg and of course Magic, translated from the ancient runes by Hermione Granger and presented here with extensive commentary by Albus Dumbledore. This stunning edition illuminates these classic tales for modern readers. With an introduction, notes and illustrations by J.K. Rowling, this collection will thrill and delight muggles and wizards alike. Oh yay, cauldron with foot. So, beautiful. I've been mean to get one for very long and I'm very happy about it. The paper is so beautiful, it's super thick, very lovely to touch, slightly glossy. And then you have the actual word pages which are 
nice and matte and beautiful. J.K. Rowling signature. I love how like they tie in the characters as well. It's not just a random person you don't know. It's the characters. I mean, obviously it's not real, but who says it isn't? So, intro by J.K. Rowling and then... Yeah, the wizard and the hopping pot. So I'm assuming the, the, the cauldron with the foot is the hopping pot. Let's see if I can get to the most famous. So Albus Dumbledore has stuff on it. On each tail. Ah, uh, Beetle the Bard. Fair Fortune. Where is the Three Brothers? The Warlock's Hairy Heart. And with pictures too. The notes are actually quite long. <laughs> rabbity, rabbit. Rabbity, rabbity, and the slump. Which was mentioned. And this, the tale of the three brothers, the deathly halos. Ooh, so pretty. Ta da! The deathly halo symbol. And now with Albert Stumbledore's notes on it. Want of Elder, never prosper. Hmm. Even I, Albus Dumbledore, find it easiest to refuse the invisibility cloak, which only goes to show that, clever as I am, I remain just as big, just as big a fool as anyone else. Yeah, for once, admit it. And yeah, Lumos. So... I quite like the fact the paper is really beautiful, quality is lovely. Okay, moving on. Later is Through the Ages. This is actually the least well known of the three books in the Hogwarts Library because this is, it features heavily in Deathly Halos onwards. So, in the quest for the, for the Horcruxes. And then you have this, which became its own spin-off series, and then you have this, Quidditch Through the Ages, which Ron actually is interested in. Oh, so we have Draco. Oh, I love this. The Hogwarts stamp, library stamp. So we have Ron Weasley, and it's overdue. He loves this book. How rare. Never Long Bottom. Susan Bones. Ron Weasley's things. Never Long Bottom is great. <laughs> Is this uh, Hermione Granger, Padma Patil? <laughs> because God forbid Hermione doesn't read every single book in the library. Ernie Macmillan, Melissa Bullstrod, Hermione Granger again. Hmm, interesting. And Draco Malfoy. And Miss <coughs> and Miss Princess. A warning for all of you, even though there is graffiti. So cute praise from various people yeah and let's just do a flip through okay if not this video is gonna be ridiculously long so yeah so cute the golden snitch that the snitch is based on oops yeah so actually this book is very interesting i've read um extracts of it online and it talks about all the interest like all the little anecdotes through the history of Quidditch, the spread of Quidditch book. Why is chapter eight? <laughs> and then there was also the Quidditch Today, chapter ten, about the author. Hmm. Yeah, kind of worthy wisp. The Golden Snitch. So yeah. Yeah, so it also talks about the longest and shortest Quidditch matches, and it's beautiful. It's you can see the gloss on the golden parts, and the, the overall quality of the books is lovely. And of course, everyone's new favourite, Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them by Newt Scamander. Is there any interesting thing to the side? Mm, no, not really. Okay, let's get back. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so this is going to be the collection 
again the very very lovely paper quality and it's alphabetically organized with all the different bees yeah cool um i'm actually considering if i should buy the illustrated version of this and i will read it and if i buy it you will see it yeah so it all comes in this lovely little sleeve the inside is a plain uh, plain white but the outside is beautiful and overall the quality is really very very good and unfortunately because um Singapore's on the other side of the world from England there is a slight bend here can you see yeah but overall forgivable because the books are all perfectly fine so one more package let's see what's in it okay so I have put my books back in and it's a free standing standalone as able to stand alone book collection with a nice leaf so beautiful very nicely aligned lovely textures very very pretty oh okay now go to the side while oh, we see what's in here boom, 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 boom. is it my last book or is it something else dun, 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 dun. oh no it's not okay so it's not my last book We'll be back for whenever that last book appears. Bye-bye.